Hello. Pew. Pew. It's Corey. It's not your usual host. Sorry if you're disappointed. Feel free to click off at any point now. However, if you do click off, you're going to miss this lovely review of these Klein screwdrivers that have been sent. Uh, Mike has very kindly sent them from Loadout. If you haven't heard of Loadout, it is a tool shop where you can buy full kits of tools and all, all that jazz. Very cool. And uh, they distribute this Klein stuff as well. So, well, I'll show you what this is first. I have the full right and freedom to tell you everything I like and dislike about them. This has not been sponsored by Klein, although Loadout have sent these to us. Um, again, you can find the link to them in the description below. Um, we're under no obligation to say that we like them, basically. Um, so I will speak the truth. Okay, so what comes in here? It comes with six different screwdrivers. Um, they're the slim tip ones. Um, well, I'll tell you what, it's easier if we just get them open, isn't it? I feel like we should be reviewing that knife. Very nice. Oh, what an efficient cut. Okay. So here's your little magnetizer. We'll come to that a little bit later. So these are the screwdrivers that come in the set. So if I just grab one of them to demonstrate. They are, my first impressions, extremely beautiful. Like, they feel fantastic in the hand, that rubbery handle. I prefer a thicker screwdriver. I just feel like it doesn't give your hands as much fatigue when you're all day long working on it as an electrician or a tradesman is. Um, I can't really criticize the build quality. The build quality and everything feels fantastic, like all the seams, the rubber. I know as well from having these tools inside of my van um, already. I don't have these this exact screwdriver, but I have the um, Klein tools with this um, in this same style. They're very good quality. You'll notice they have the, uh, the slim tip there on them, and that's so that when you're inserting your screwdriver into some terminals where you've got um, a tight space it's really annoying when the edge catches on it and on, you, every electrician is the same they end up cutting it back to there and then you've got like two inches um, I'm doing it in inches because we're dealing with American tool brands um, two inches of exposed metal in there to give yourself a nice zap so that's a cool little safety feature and quality feature um, yeah so my immediate impression of them is very nice and I know the tips are really good quality as well just because um, of having had them and seeing how long they last. It comes with two flathead screwdrivers. So if you can work out what those sizes are in English sizes, then please feel free. But that looks like approximately five mil and seven mil, something like that. Um, and then you've got this PZ2 and uh, PZ1 as well. That comes inside this, sorry, PH2 and PH1. And then this square head here, this square two, I think it is, or I think I've heard it called Robertson two by Americans and North, North Americans, Canadians before. Um, so now for my one criticism, okay? The actual tools themselves feel amazing. Absolutely great. And I, I, I'll be completely honest, these would be my go-to screwdrivers but why haven't I got them in my tool bag right now? Okay, I'll tell you why I haven't got them in my tool bag right now. For me personally, I find this, these sizes aren't super appropriate for UK electricians. If you're watching this from America, North America, or other parts of the world where these sizes are more common, then that makes perfect sense. I completely understand it. Um, but in the UK, we primarily use PZ over PH. Um, and the Robertson screw isn't really used unless you're a HVAC technician or something. Sometimes it's used then. Um, I'm going to be keeping them in my van because obviously you need to have a PH1 and a PH2, but that's the only reason they're not my regular everyday carry, everyday drive screwdrivers is just because of that really, because the sizes aren't quite right. Obviously electrician screwdrivers generally are not completely magnetic. Um, and that's because you don't want to be reached into the back of a panel trying to avoid live wires, trying to avoid dangerous things, and then it just sticks and touches something that you don't want it to touch. So for safety reasons, generally, they're not. However, sometimes it is really handy to actually have a magnetized tip on your screwdriver, and that's so that, you know, if you're putting a screw on and then reach into the back of the panel. So there you go. It's not magic. It's just science. So now super, super magnetic. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Let's demagnetize it. There we go. Science prevails. So, 
pretty cool kit. So I'll just demonstrate a little bit. I have a pH screw here. It actually is pH, nice job. Elijah found the one pH screw in the UK. Um, <laughs> we have a pH screw here, which is a drywall screw. <laughs> I know that's not the most common electrical sc um, screw, but it is a screw that you come across. So let's just see how they feel screwing it into some wood here. Oh yeah, they feel fantastic. And I'm not, like I say, I'm not saying that, I'm not being um, sponsored or paid to say anything positive or negative about them. Um, I'm trying to just really be awkward and difficult. Let's see if we, let's see if we can snap the tip on it. Oh, yes. Yeah, so they feel good. Let's see if we can abuse them a little bit. Let's use a, a flat head on a cross head. The cardinal sin of the tradesman. We've all done it. You definitely shouldn't do it. Will it survive? Let's get a big PZ screw and use the wrong screwdriver for it. Let's misuse our tools like some tradesmen do. Not me. And let's see how it goes. Yeah, lovely. That's still handles it. To be fair, that still, although it's a pH, um, it still actually bites the PZ screw really quite nicely. I, I'm quite surprised by that. Usually, maybe it's like a universal fit because my PZ definitely wouldn't go into that pH, and my pH, my normal pH definitely wouldn't go into a PZ. But that actually feels very tight and secure. So, in fairness, maybe I have to take back some of my earlier comments. Now it's time for the tall abuse, okay? So, the Klein flathead. Ooh, it feels so wrong. Will we, will we snap the tip? Nobody wants a snapped tip. Right. This has become more of a show of my wrist muscle prowess rather than a tall review. There we go. So that's handling it just fine. So, I think all in all, a fantastic set of screwdrivers. These probably will find their way into my tool bag. So that concludes today's video um, on these. If you want to find these made in the USA, Klein tool screwdrivers, then uh, go check out Loadout below where they've got a ton of tools as well. They've got like all the European brands and all the American brands on there as well, which I always do like the stuff that the Americans seem to get. I feel like they always get cooler tools than us sooner. And then we're just playing catch up over here in the poor old blighty Britain. But anyway, thank you. I'll stop babbling on. See you next time.